Hello everyone, Waddling Duck here to explain how to turn Lodia attack ships and Lodia demolition ships into the best naval ships in Age of Empires 4. The Rus have an interesting navy. They don't get Age 3 attack ships or Age 4 warships, and are stuck with only their Age 2 archer ship. Most players assume that because of this, the Rus are a joke on water maps. However, the Lodia attack ship is actually by far the strongest ship in the Imperial Age, which you will have seen in action if you have watched my naval combat guide. There are several hidden upgrades that you will need to take, as well as some bug-filled interactions and pitfalls unique to the Rus that can cause your ships to drastically underperform. Here we have two Lodia attack ships. Both were created by the same player with all upgrades in the Imperial Age. One of them has twice as much health and armor, more range, and almost double the damage. The same goes for every variation of the Lodia ships. Here are two Lodia demolition ships, again by the same player with all upgrades. Here are fishing, trade, and transport ships. The differences are crazy, with as much as 630% increased hit points on a fishing boat. If you look at the tech tree, there's an upgrade in the Castle Age for 200 hit points, and another one in the Imperial Age for 200 hit points and one ranged armor. Other than that, they don't have any unique techs for their Lodia ships. So where do the rest of these stats come from? In the Feudal Age, there isn't much variation. You have the base Lodia attack ship, and you can get the ranged damage tech at the blacksmith to add one damage. It's in the Castle Age that the variations begin. When you research the unique technology clinker construction, you gain 200 health on all Lodia attack ships. This is applied to all Lodia attack ships that currently exist, as well as all Lodia attack ships that you directly train from docks. However, if you create any ship other than an attack ship, that health is not granted even if you later convert it to a Lodia attack ship. So this is a main pitfall of playing the Rus Navy. Never convert a ship to an attack ship. However, the other direction works the opposite way. If you train a Lodia attack ship from the dock and then convert it to a different type of ship, it will carry over that 200 health to the new ship. Thus, once you have the clinker construction technology researched, you should never train any ship from the dock except for an attack ship, and you should convert to other ships from the attack ship as needed. The only exception would be for fishing boats, as they are far cheaper than an attack ship, and the health might not always be worth the cost. The same rules apply to the Cedar Hulls technology in the Imperial Age. It will apply to ships that are currently Lodia attack ships, as well as any future created Lodia attack ships. And it will transfer over if you convert from an attack ship into another type of ship. This is where the mechanics start to get tricky, and it is impossible to know for sure what is a bug and what is intentional from here on out. The Castle Age technology Armored Hull grants two armor to all military ships. However, there is a hidden bonus for the Rus where it also grants 200 hit points to Lodia attack ships. The two armor is granted retroactively to all military ships, however the bonus 200 hit points are only applied to newly created attack ships after the research has completed. But that's not the only hidden bonus. If you have both armored hull and clinker construction, yet another 100 hit points will magically materialize for a combined increase of 500 hit points. This happens again if you have armored hull and cedar hulls, yet another 100 hit points will magically materialize. At this point, armored hull with clinker construction and cedar hulls will give you a total of 800 extra hit points on your Lodia attack ships. Now, not all of these hidden hit point bonuses will transfer to other ships through conversion, but some will. While Armored Hulls gives 200 hit points to the Lodi attack ship, it gives 63 hit points to fishing boats, 150 to trade ships, 300 to transport ships, and 125 to demolition ships. If you add all of these together for these other ships, if you convert a Lodi attack ship into a fishing boat, you can get 663 extra hit points, trade ships can get 750 extra hit points, transport ships can get 900 extra hit points, and demolition ships can get 725 extra hit points. Now I'll reiterate it again, the bonuses from armored hulls will only apply to ships created after the technology has been researched. This is crucial. For all ships, you can gain up to 50% more hit points if they are created after the armored hulls technology is completed. Now I can't guess for the reason why this exists, but I do lean towards this mechanic being intentional. While the raw number of hit points gained varies by ship, the percentage gained from Armored Hull versus an otherwise fully upgraded Imperial Age ship will always be exactly 50% hit points for all ships. Also, ships that gain these extra hit points from Armored Hull 
are visually larger, which makes this issue more than what a single typo would be in the code, and again leans toward intentional. From here, you'll see that Armored Hole is absolutely crucial to get as soon as you reach Castle Age. With the hidden bonuses, it also happens to be standalone more beneficial than Clinker Construction. As soon as you finish Armored Hole, you can start making new Lodi attack ships, and those ships will then retroactively gain the full effects of future upgrades, such as Clinker Construction. I personally recommend converting any attack ships that were created before Armored Hole was researched into demolition ships. Now, we have the hit points figured out for the Lodia ships, but that isn't where optimization and hidden bonuses end. Incendiary Arrows applies to Lodia attack ships. It does grant the extra 20% damage, but it also has a hidden bonus of adding 44 damage against buildings. This has to be intentional, as it is very specific. Most buildings have 50 ranged armor, so until this upgrade, your Lodi attack ships will only deal 1 damage per hit against all buildings. With all ranged damage upgrades at the blacksmith along with incendiary arrows, it now has 57 damage per hit against buildings, which after armor means it will be dealing 7 damage instead of 1 per hit. This increases your damage per second from 2.2 all the way up to 15.6 against buildings. This may not sound like a lot, but keep in mind that Lodia ships are exceptionally cheap, and it is easy to have them massed in large quantities. A group of Lodi attack ships can take down keeps with ease. There are a few more Lodia mechanics specifically with respect to demolition ships. First, the Navigator Lookout technology will carry over during conversion, giving demolition ships an extra one range. This is a 50% increase in range for demolition ships, so this one has a huge impact. Next, the blacksmith upgrades for ranged damage, along with incendiary arrows from the university, do carry over during conversion into a demolition ship. Now, you'll have one chance and only one chance each match to stack both the 20% damage boost from incendiary arrows with the 40% damage boost from explosives, which can give you demolition ships with an insane 975 hit points, 508 damage, and 3 range. Keep in mind that they explode twice if they connect, so that extra health will often mean double damage. The damage techs applied to demolition ships work like this. The 20% damage from incendiary arrows will carry over from an attack ship converted to a demolition ship. The 40% damage from explosives will apply to any demolition ships that currently exist, as well as any demolition ships directly made from the dock, but it will not carry over from attack ships that convert to demolition ships. This means that you have one chance to make attack ships with incendiary arrows, convert the attack ships to demolition ships, and after that conversion, you can research explosives. Any demolition ships that you have built at that moment will be bumped up to 508 damage. After this moment, any converted demolition ships will only have 364 damage, while demolition ships trained directly from the dock will have 420 damage, but they only have a quarter as much health. In general, the extra health should be more valuable than the extra damage, so aside from one big push where you can double dip on the techs, the explosives technology won't give you any benefit whatsoever. There is one more hidden mechanic that helps out Lodia ships, however it is not limited to the Roos, and helps other ships as well, and I will be posting a follow-up video to cover the hidden combat mechanic. If you didn't quite follow everything explained here, just remember to always take the armored hull technology the moment you get to the Castle Age, and understand that any ships created prior to that moment will be missing up to a 50% hit point boost. Aside from fishing boats early on, never directly train any ship other than the attack ship from the docks. Always make attack ships and convert them into your trade ships, transports, or demolition ships. Thank you for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please remember to subscribe.